Hey friends, welcome to the Johnson City Living Podcast where we learn about the people, places, events, and flavors that make Johnson City a lovely place to live. I'm your host, Colin Johnson with the Colin and Carly Group and Keller Williams Realty. It is a beautiful summer day here in Johnson City and I am excited because summertime's here, it is warm. Um, Carly and I went and watched uh, Christian play a golf match yesterday over the Johnson City Country Club. It was a gorgeous day. Um, but I've got a little allergies or something going on. It's causing me to cough, so bear with me. But um, way more importantly than my little allergy situation, I have Ashley Barnett here with Treadway Travel. Welcome to the podcast, Ashley. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for coming on the podcast. We, uh, we, you know, we sucker people into doing it, and we're so glad when they say yes. So we're excited to hear all about you, your travel business, and... Um, just get to know you a little better and let our listeners get to know you better. But Johnson City Living, first question out the gate every time. What do you love about Johnson City slash Gray because you live in Gray? I do. I love the community, the area, the people. Like when I say area, the beauty. Mm. Uh, God has definitely like made this one of the most beautiful places on earth. And that's, I mean, traveling, I get to see a lot of places mm-hmm. so i can say his handiwork is all everywhere yeah yeah and we we yeah i think we call it god's country for a reason because yes. it is gorgeous it he is. has fashioned the mountains and the streams and the i mean even the fields just the other day they cut hay behind my house and there are hay bales out in the field and i just had to stop and take a picture just because it's beautiful everything right. he has created around us is just beautiful so i would agree I would agree. What do you like to do for fun here in Johnson City with your family? So family-wise, we like to go hiking. Yeah. Yeah. Take in all the beautiful, picturesque places. Um, Other activities we like to do in the area, um, the retro arcade. The retro arcade, yes. yes. Over by the movie theater, that one? Yes, the play it again. Mm -hmm. That's how small Johnson City is because you can say over by the movie theater. And we all know what we're talking about. We used to have two movie theaters, but we just cut it down to one. (laughs) I don't know why we don't have to, but yeah. anyway, maybe we'll get another one. Right. What's your uh, favorite retro game you like to play? So my son, he loves, that's why we go. He loves it. Mm-hmm. So you don't get on Galaga a little bit? Or I do a little bit. Maybe yeah. a little uh, bit. Carly is like a uh, Ms. Pac-Man. Like she just, Cowboys. I think she played it so much when she was a kid, she just, her hand just does all the motion. She just knows the whole codes or whatever. I don't know. It's right. So. Pac-Man and then we like the Ninja Turtle game. Oh yeah, I haven't played that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. Okay. Well, enough about Ninja Turtles and Pac-Man. Tell us a little bit about Treadway Travel. Where? How did Treadway Travel get started? So Jen Tre- Treadway is the agency owner. Okay. Um, she has been in business for several years. She was an agent with another company before uh-huh. and then created Treadway Travel. Okay. Um, it's been in business, I believe, we just hit our 12-year nice. anniversary. Um, I could be wrong on oh. that, but I believe it's 12 years. We won't um, tell anybody. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I have been in business an agent for a year and a half. Okay. But I've been actively, I like to say, for a year. Um, and I say that because with, travel agency there's a lot of training sure like for every destination we go through training we go through not just destinations but resorts places you can go we do the training for all of that to make sure we have all the knowledge so that we can help clients better yeah okay well where are you guys located we don't have a storefront. Okay. So I like it virtual. Yes we are virtual we can meet anywhere with clients if you need us to. Yeah Well, what did, okay, let's jump out a little bit. Um, What did you do before you got into travel? I was a teacher before. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us more about that. So I taught for 12 years. And you were like, I've had a little too much of kids. Is that what it is? Or was it? I loved it. It was great. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. I just needed to step back um, with having a family. Yep. I needed a little bit more time. So. Now, how many kids do you have? I have one. Okay. Yeah. But one is. One son. Can be a lot, for sure. Can be for sure. So, all right. So, let's um, talk about travel. You, um, you're, you're thinking, just people are now thinking about trips all the time, right? We're going to go on a trip, and the first thing they do, typically, 
is Google it. Like, hey, I want to go to, let's just throw out someplace. Where where would we go? Let's just go on a trip. You tell me, walk me cruise through. Cruise is the trend right now. So cruises. Okay, so big. let's, Carly and I are going on a cruise and we can go all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, my anyway. in-laws have been, I think my parents went to Alaska. My in-laws went to Alaska. Um, we could go. Caribbean, Mediterranean. Caribbean, Mediterranean. River cruises. European yeah. river cruises. Okay, so let's narrow it down. I don't like the cold too much. I'm not going to go to Alaska or go up to Finland. I'm going to go to the Caribbean. Now, why don't I just call like a cruise line and just order my Caribbean cruise? Well, because connection. I have that relationship with you. As okay. soon as if you and I work together, as soon as you call me up, yeah. I have a face, I have a name, I know the details of your trip. If there's any issues, I have that connection with you. We can you. probably call you yes. if there's an issue when we're standing exactly. on the like the dock and the boat's pulling away because they said, hey, we don't have your tickets or whatever. You can call me. I can call you and mm -hmm. you'll be like, hey, too bad. <laughs> but that won't be a problem because before you go, I give you all the papers. You give us so all I give away. you everything. So let's yes. start. Let's talk about that. When, do, like, If we want to go on a cruise, say in September, mm -hmm. Carla's birthday, let's go on a cruise. When do we need to engage with you? Like, when do our listeners, like, when is the best time to get in touch with a travel agent? Would it you? depends on what exactly you're looking for. Okay. So some hotels and airfare isn't released until about 330 days prior. Okay. So I wouldn't be able to look at anything for that. For like, Yeah. So less than a year, just a hair under a, a month, 11 months out, you right. they release airfare dates. That's right. interesting to know. I didn't know that. Um, but cruises, you can plan far in advance okay. because you can make payments on it too. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not just here's your amount and you have to pay it all at once. You can make payments up until the due date. Okay. So you can contact me however far in advance, depending on, like, we can start talking 2024. We can okay. start planning, you know, um, talking about those. And then we can look at what might fit your schedule. And then okay. depending on what you're looking for, mm -hmm. um, you don't want to go during, if you want quieter, reserved, you don't want to go during school break times. So, gotcha. so we'll kind of plan that in too. And the, I'm sure the cruise lines can say, hey, yeah, these are our high peak seasons right. and peak times. And Right. Gotcha. Okay. What uh, Since we're in the cruise realm, if we go to uh, the Caribbean, how many days typically is a good cruise that you, you'd like to help people with? Um, it depends what you're looking for. Yeah. So if you've never been on a cruise, but you get motion sickness, I would recommend starting with the smaller three to four night, okay. not long cruises. Yeah. Um, if you love cruises, you've been on one before, you know that you love it. I would suggest, you know, the seven to 10 day or yeah. even longer if you're able to. Right. Um, we went on one and, uh, there were a lot of old people and it was a Holland American cruise and, um, it was beautiful, but there were people who not, they don't get off. They were like, right. We're staying on this thing for a year. I'm like, that's crazy, <laughs> but awesome. You know, on the other side of it, I'm like, that'd be pretty interesting. You know, if you're retired and yeah. you're just kind of like, Hey, I'm going to see the world for a year. Everything's taken care of. That's nuts. Room, food, all of it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've been on the cruise websites and like tried to figure out cabins and all that craziness. So tell me, like, tell our listeners really like how simple you make it. Like, you, I mean, it, you go through all of the cabins, different mm -hmm. scenarios. If you want rooms connecting with your friends or close to your friends, you work all that out, right? I do. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. I look at all of that information. And then two plays into, again, if you get motion sickness, we know what levels to look for. We know where what spots on the ship to kind of look for. Oh, that's happen. cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about that. Yeah. I don't want to give sick secrets away. So. Uh, well, that's why you're here, maybe, is for some insider <laughs> secrets. Yeah. Um, I have to have a veranda because our favorite thing is getting up in the morning. We, Carly and I'll drink coffee, eat breakfast, and look at the ocean. It's the best. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough. Um, so let's say that um, our people want to get in touch with you to, to book a cruise. Um, what's the best way to do that? Either email or mm -hmm. phone number for myself. Um, our agency has a website. Okay. And then on that website, you'll have a form to fill out. Yep. And it will list agents. And you can scroll through and click who you would like to work with. But obviously, they want to work with Ashley because she's the best. Okay. I like it. All right. Let's talk about, um, I mean, do you get deals on cruises because you guys book so many of them? Is it, like, it going to be better for a consumer to go through you? 
not only for personal service, which is great, but I'm assuming that you probably get some group. It depends. So there group okay. cruises. If you have a large group, we are able to get discounts. Get on things discounts like that. and stuff. Typically, though, we just get the same promotions that are available. So you're going to pay the same across the board, but in our world, we have an Ashley that's helping us, connecting yes. us, making sure we're all taken care of. And convenience too. Convenience is huge. It well, customer is. service and like customer experience. service convenience, and I say that because of time issues. Yeah. I was on the phone for forty-five minutes because there was a technical issue with one of my reservations. The client has no idea. Right. Has absolutely no idea there was an issue. I saw it. I took care of it. There's no issue. They didn't know about it, but they didn't have to spend forty-five minutes on the phone. Yeah. I was able to do that for them. Yeah, I think, and that's same in my world. I'm in the real estate gig, and we. We're doing all the behind the scenes mm -hmm. stuff all the time, getting the paperwork together, making sure titles and all that stuff is taken care of and working out home, just a ton of stuff, inspection, you know. And so we want to make sure that our clients don't have to deal with all that. Right. And that's why an agent helps out a whole lot more than somebody like on Zillow. Like we're, you're, you know, you're fighting Expedia, I'm fighting Zillow. So. Right. Um, talk to me about airfare. That was interesting that you they don't release um, airline dates until... 330 days out. That's mm -hmm. pretty neat. It is. So if I were looking to book a flight, um, would you want to go right when they're released 330 days out? Or is that when they're the cheapest? Or pro I mean, It what fluctuates. And yeah. there's no way to predict. No rhyme like, or reason. They're just looking at just, occupancy per plane kind of thing and jet exactly. fuel costs and all that stuff that's fluctuating all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so there's no, I don't have a good like prediction. Yeah. Um, I know that there's always these, oh, you want to do it at this mark, like uh -huh. X amount months before, Okay. which that is true. So with airfare, I can let this one slip. So Hopper is a good app to kind of help because it, it has a better handle on that prediction of when it's going to rise, okay. when it's going to fall, things like that. Um, and that's kind of what, that's my little secret. I even look at Hopper to you kind look of help at Hopper, my clients too. So what we need to do oh, is look is at Hopper be and then call Ashley and say, hey, Ashley, I saw Hopper drop the t prices. Can you book my airline tickets? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. What's your favorite airline that you've been on? Personally, Delta. Delta. Mm -hmm. And that flies out of Johnson City, right? It does. I, I think do. a lot of people um, don't realize, you know, I get calls all the time about people coming in from town and I think they think we have like some sort of little grass runway in a field or something which we do which is the johnson city <laughs> airport but we also have a really nice airport called the tri-cities regional airport yes. it's the call sign tri you can fly in from anywhere it's awesome and i love that i mean i'm not going to say this on the podcast of course but you could walk onto the plane probably within 30 minutes of getting there i mean you don't need to be there three hours early they're not going to pat you down i mean it's kind of like you're like, hey, Mike, and you walk in and you're, you hand him your bag and you just go get on the plane. It's super nice. It is, but don't forget, they're also changing out their scanners. So oh, it no. does take a little bit longer. So if you're planning on flying out coming up, they are changing out those scanners. So just keep that in mind, too. Man. It'll be a little bit longer for a wait. Instead of, you know, five minutes, it'll be maybe 10. Oh, okay. Well. That will be that'll Adjust be rough, Ashley. Frame, but. but see, that's a good thing to know. We've got new scanners coming in at Tri City, so you know, usually you're like, "Hold my gun and my beer for a minute. I'm going to walk through this scanner and, <laughs> and get back on the plane." But uh, no, I joke. I don't ever do that. Um, but it is a great airport. Our people here take excellent care of us. Again, it's just the people in the area, like you. You know, exactly. you're going to take great, great care exactly. of people. Um, did you ever see yourself being a um, a travel agent when you like started becoming like a teacher later on did you always love to travel i've always loved to travel yeah did your parents travel a lot take you on place trips we did yeah um but i didn't see myself becoming a travel agent honestly until i had a family yeah and i had my son and i saw traveling through his eyes oh, okay. and i was like oh i want to help other people do this for the family experience, the family moments, the connections, the memories. Yeah. You know, helping people do that. That's what. When I was love your to first do. trip where you kind of were like, huh, this could be something I, I want to do for, for a living? So we started traveling with JT when he was three. Mm -hmm. um, but like the trip that really made it was when he was four years old. Um, 
and honestly, it was at Disney World, mm. and just seeing it and experience it, experience. Yeah, experiencing. Yeah. Yep. That word. That word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, there, Disney's it. great. We uh, we had a great trip there until Christian got strep, which wasn't the best. Um, it, he just had a little meltdown. I think he was five, maybe. It was, yeah, and so I think um, having a travel agent maybe that could have helped us out at that point would have been good, but we had to go find a, you know, an urgent care or whatever. Yeah. Got him this medicine that was just awful. Like, he didn't want to take it, and I was like, dude, you got to take this. And then I, he was just like, no, 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 and I was like, well, let me try it. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to try that either. So we went and got him something else because I was like, this is the worst medicine ever. It was awful. I'm like, who, who makes that stuff? Right. Yeah. Um. So you said there are other eight. How big is your agency? We have, I believe, about 30 agents. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And then we work as a team, too. A lot of people don't know that. So if there's a destination that I may not be familiar with, um, we work as a team and collaborate Mm -hmm. of, well, who's been here? Where can you, you know, recommend for my clients Mm -hmm. to go, to stay? So it's a great, great place to work. That's cool. Mm Mm-hmm. So tell me about, um, like, your favorite trip you've sent a family on. Like, you were like, they came back and they were just, like, blown away. And you were like, yes, I knocked it out of the park. What was one of the, your favorite trips you've sent somebody on? Probably one of my first ones was okay. the honeymoon. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they told me what they wanted for their checklist, and I was able to make it happen. And so that one was great. Another one I've got coming up, though, is, again, another honeymoon. But they're spending two weeks in Africa. And to getting to do a safari and just amazing things. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How? What's the furthest place you've ever sent anybody? Like Antarctica or something? No, I haven't done Antarctica yet. <laughs> no. Can't say that. I don't one. know that I want to go to Antarctica. You might want to go to Antarctica. It's super cold down there, I think. That's true. But you get to do the expeditions. and you That's know, true, get to do but it's sign. still cold, Ashley. Like, it's super cold. Like, I think you go outside for 20 seconds and your nose freezes off. So I don't know that I want to do that. There are people out there that do. They, there are. Yeah. There are. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So um, let's go back to Johnson City. Where do you and your husband like to go eat, go like date night for you guys? Where are you going to go on a date? Uh, in the area. I like to label the restaurant. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Do you like the burgers there or sushi? Sushi. Yeah. Their sushi is fantastic. Yes. I think it's kind of like a hidden gem. Um, people, I think, think more of like, for me, they think of burgers and kind of heavier food but their sushi is awesome it is yeah Yeah. and they have a they do have a buttermilk fried chicken thing that's fantastic too all right so um parks what's your favorite park where you take your take jt one of my favorites is when like the founders park yeah when they do the christmas tree oh i love that isn't that awesome i love it i think there were like ten thousand people that went through that last year or more probably And so, I I don't know. I think that's one of those memory things. I love making memories. Anything you can do experience-wise where you make memories, I love it. I adore it. Yeah. So, walking through that hot chocolate, Mm -hmm. and it's that experience. It's those memories. It's Christmas time. It's magical. It is. You know, it's just, it's It's great. It's awesome. We love it, and I love that the city does that, and um, hopefully Carly and I can do a tree out there one day. Um, That'd be fun. Yeah, I love it, too. It's awesome. All right, so... Um, do you guys like to go to the ETSU ball games? Do you watch any? You support the Bucks. The Bucks are coming up on starting some. We haven't. No, we don't. We haven't done any of the ball games. JT is more into <clears throat> drama and theater and things oh, really? like that. So That's we cool. kind of do yeah. shows and productions more so. Have you been to the Barter lately? Not lately, but we love the Barter. Yeah. Um, and then also the Jonesboro Repertory Theater. Yeah, they've got some good stuff going on they down do. there too. And then the uh, Jackson Theater, work, they're working on that. Is that going to be for the Repertory Theater or is that just? I'm not sure. I don't exactly, know either. I need to dig into that a little bit, maybe get those folks on here. Um. Yeah, so, (coughs) excuse me, good grief. I'm a little off my game today, folks. Um, So what's something that um, you're excited about in travel coming up this year? Um, Trends again, cruises. Okay. Honestly, the thing that gets me excited is just when somebody first contacts me, Uh I love it. Yeah. I get excited. Okay. Not because for me. Sure. But again, I love planning for right. people. Yeah. Getting to know your family, getting to know what you like, what you dislike, and finding those things and making it memorable. I had a client recently who came back and was like, man, 
The way this played out, that timeline, it was great. He had no idea I intentionally set everything up so that it was back to back to back. So they had that experience. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's stuff that um, the internet's not going to give you. You know, Expedia is not going to line up these different experiences for you. They're just giving you prices on stuff. And right. So, it's not customized. <clears throat> it's here it is. Yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, you said it over and over, but what, what's like the main reason somebody would come to you? As opposed to just going to Expedia. I mean, is it, it's just that customer service, right? It's the customer service. And to me, it's the relationships. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you genuinely care about the people, right? I mean, for me, um, I care about my clients too. It's like a family that's going to have Right. A, they're not just buying a house. They're building a home and they're going to have kids there. And right. They're going to watch them grow up there and graduate. You know, it's just, there's a lot going on. There's, you know, and they're going to have good times and sad times, you know, people lose parents and, you know, just, and so it's like a, it's a special sacred place for them. And I really look forward to helping people find that. And I think it sounds like for you, you love to help people find these experiences for their families to take them on. And so that's, that's exciting. I do make so. those magical memories. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we can go to Treadway Travel, scroll through all the other agents, click on Ashley, connect with you. Um, is there a website that they need to get? What's the website that people need to go to? to? TreadwayTravelCompany.com. TreadwayTravelCompany.com. Okay, yes. we'll put that in the show notes. Do you want to give out your like number to get to get to hold of you if they just want sure. to contact you directly? Yeah. It is area code 828-508-2417. Nice. Yes, and then my email is abarnett at Treadway Travel. TreadwayTravelCompany.com. TreadwayTravelCompany.com. A Barnett. I like it. And then, um, are you going on any trips this year? You and your family? I have, well, we might go on another one again. We're not, pos okay. not sure yet. Yeah. But I have done three so far already this year. Oh, wow. So That's awesome. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think um, I have some, a friend who, she's um, a travel agent, and um, their, her family's been doing it forever, but... They get to go, I guess you get to research different places sometimes. We do. And so they hook you up with a deal, I'm assuming. And so I would think that maybe people would like want to become travel agents just if they love to travel right. and go see these awesome places on a little bit of a discount. Maybe that's what happens. Is that how that works? Or tell me it, about how resorts recruit you guys to come see them. So it's, again, it goes back to you also have that training too. It's not just become a travel agent, say you're a travel agent. Yeah. And then like, woohoo, free trips it's not it's not that dang it um <laughs> so that was the deal i was like man i could get a little side game. No, i'm just kidding <laughs> we do the training we spend time we get to know the um resorts and then after we hit whatever they're because each one has their own certain qualifications for it mm -hmm. so once we hit their qualifications then we can start using that discount to kind of see and experience it to help us better get to know the the resort mm -hmm. so that way when we're explaining it to our clients we know all of the ins and out the tips and tricks and things like that gotcha tell me about the process because it does sound like you're doing a lot of training and learning tell us about becoming a travel agent how long did that take you what is involved it depends so at the time when i first became an agent um, i was still teaching so i didn't have a ton of time mm -hmm. through the day to do that training i did it at night once i got home um, so it took me a little bit longer yeah but each one is different it also depends on what you want to specialize in okay um so if you only want to focus on cruises then you only need to go through the cruises training gotcha. you don't have to do you know marriott or you don't have to do disney universal or sandals you know those types of trainings too. So you're studying all the brands learning what's unique about them right and then they also have if you want to focus on aruba you can do training specifically for aruba too gotcha or any destination jamaica who mm -hmm. i want to take you that kind of stuff yeah. um down to kokomo maybe um and then so i yeah i'm just i find i love the idea of we love to travel my um my family, we grew up traveling, which is great. My mother's English, so we were, had the blessing to go to England a few times, and it was just fun. And so we're looking forward to taking our son, hopefully, in the, in the future. And so, um, yeah, I love the idea of planning it out. And then I think for, I mean, an outsider looking in, you know the places to go <clears throat> and the people connect with on the other side, right, that mm -hmm. we don't even have a clue, right? I mean, right. so if you're saying, hey, we're going to send you to Scotland, 
we found, you know, this hotel's the best in Dublin or it's in Ireland, so wherever, but we found these hotels that you like the best that are rated. I mean, it takes just, it sounds like it takes a ton of time out of it. It um, does. But then we also have to trust you too, because you're like, well, I wanted to go maybe that, you know, so I think, is there some custom ability to it too? Like if I said, it's not like, hey, we want to go to Ireland for 10 days and you just set it up. No. We look at, it's well, I like this hotel. I wanted to put that into the mix maybe, or I want to go play golf. Exactly. That kind of thing. Exactly. So we can change it, mix it up. I give you, typically I give you a few options. Yeah. So you don't have to weed through all of the options. Right. I give you a few. Um, and then we can customize it however you want to. And then after that, I can be as involved as little or as much as you want me to. Okay. Um, if there are, again, going back to as an example, the the Africa trip. Yeah. Um, with them, they are actually going to four different places while yeah. they're in Africa. Um, and then I can also help set up tours if they want to go to our winery. Or um, they have the option of going to do a shark cage dive. Like, I can help set those things up to give you those experiences too, not just here's a resort you can go stay at. Okay, right. I'm done. Talk to the concierge when you get there. Maybe. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You set it all up ahead of time so it's all pre-planned and Yes, out. and we can give you recommendations for restaurants. We might not be able to set up like reservations, reservations right. um, but we can say, well, here is a great place to eat if you want to gotcha. go there. Um, you know, if you wanted to go, to, let's say, to Washington, D.C., there's here's a list of museums you may want to go to. Yeah. If this interests you, here's this, um, the zoo. Here's a restaurant you might like, that type and of you thing. Yeah, because you guys are <clears throat> aggregating all this information together. Mm -hmm. It's making it one stop easy. Yes. Easy to deal with. I, like, I love that because, um, yeah, we're all busy. I mean, we've got tons of stuff going on, and so if you've got somebody that's working on your behalf. Now, tell us about, like, is there a lot of, does it cost a lot to engage with you to have you book a trip, or how does that work? So a lot of places, wherever you book, pays us. Yeah. So there's no extra cost as far as that goes. Depending on how involved you want us to be, mm -hmm. if you want a step-by-step -step itinerary, sure. there's going to be a planning fee yeah. also incorporated. But for the most part, um, if you just want our recommendations for where to stay and things like that, and each agent is different yeah. and each agency is different too um, about what that planning fee is going to be okay so it kind of just depends on what you're looking for amount of time involved on your right. side of it that kind right. of thing okay i like it what else have i what have i not asked you about the travel agent business your business that i should have anything that we've left off the table we should i talk think about? we've covered most of it i think we've covered most of it i think it's one of those where you just need to call Ashley, engage with her, let her book you a trip, and then you'll figure out some questions probably that we haven't hit. But what, um, all right, let's do a little quick speed round. You said your favorite airline was Delta. What's your favorite hotel brand? Marriott. Marriott. I used to work for Marriott a long time ago. I did not know that. Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. Um, your favorite U.S. destination, if you had to pick right now, where are you going? Colorado. Colorado. Just the whole state? state yeah. <laughs> just drop me off in Colorado yep, like, that's exactly it they're like pulling the door open on the Delta airline and pushing you and your family out with backpacks <laughs> parachutes, and parachutes yep. like yes, go for it there's exactly. Colorado yeah we're headed on over to LA yeah no um I say Colorado but then you know what it just occurred to me I love Hawaii too Hawaii see I there love you go. Hawaii too so I haven't been lucky enough to go to Hawaii yet. I know we need to remedy this I think um, Carly would probably be on board with that, although she doesn't love to fly. So, um, but we'll figure that out. International, like Hawaii's kind of international. But what would be your favorite international trip that you've been on? Mm, probably the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Again, but it goes back. I am such an experienced person. Yeah. That was our honeymoon. That's where we went. Same here. So it, it's that ex like. It's the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We went, we we laughingly. Like, like we went to the Ibero Star, Punta Cana, yeah. Bavero, Princess Palace, <laughs> Carib. I mean, it had like 12 names. We were just like, we kept laughing about it. It was so much fun, though. I love it. It was awesome. And we had a, a travel agent help us get there. So, I, yeah, I don't think people give you guys the respect uh, or the – maybe they do. I don't know. But I feel like, every, you know, all these apps are coming in and trying mm -hmm. to take your, your space away. And so I think – 
having somebody on your side advocating for you, working things out. If I got sick on the trip, we probably have travel insurance that you helped us buy. Right. And God forbid that I think there's even stuff that'll meta back you home if you mm -hmm. need it from another country. Is that true? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah I think there's like yeah. it's crazy. And so having somebody on your side as opposed to just, you know, dialing the I don't even know if there's a human on the backside of like Expedia or one of those other, you know, travel apps. I don't know. But it, I know that I could get a hold of Ashley. That's right. She's been on the podcast. We were, we have a connection. She'd be like, yeah, I'm going to get you guys taken care of, squared away. I'm going to make sure your trip is awesome. So That's exactly right. Yeah. I'm excited to um, for our listeners to engage with you for sure. I loved learning more about um, travel this morning. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for um, having me. I didn't even know about Treadway Travel till you, till you came here. I thought you were still teaching. So it's great to... Great to see you it's and great to, see uh, you. great to connect with you guys. Thank you all for listening. Anything else you want to share before we go? I don't think so. Thank you. Yeah, you guys need to reach out to Ashley on treadwaytravelcompany.com. Yes. Yeah, see, I got it. And um, I hope you guys had a great time listening to our conversation. Sorry I was a little off my game today. Got a lot of coughing going on. Um, but until next time, I'm Colin Johnson with the Colin and Carla Group and Keller Williams Realty. If you want to move here and live here and be in community with Ashley and go on trips with her. We would love to um, help you make a move to Johnson City. If you want to invest in real estate, we love helping people do that as well. Um, and if you need to sell your house right now is the best time to do it. It's crazy how many people want to make Johnson City and the Tri-Cities area are um, their new home. And so we're selling houses for way over market value and it's just a great time to sell. So anyway, um, reach out to me if I can ever help you. Um, I'd love to connect with you if it's just to say, Hey, how do I get a hold of Ashley? Or I want to do a podcast with Mitch, or I want to just go eat a burger at Label or sushi. I'd love to connect with you and help you do that. So, hey, thanks so much and have a great day.